Hey guys, welcome back to Unified IT, and today we're going to be talking about Ubiquiti's newest accessory, the SFP Wizard. So first, what actually is the SFP Wizard? So they uh, funnily named the release of this SFP Liberation Day, and it's because these SFP transceivers that many of you guys use for networking equipment all have vendor-specific identification in them and some vendors don't like to play with others. So the main purpose of this guy is to actually insert an SFP like this, and it will instantly load it in here, and it will ask you if you want to write to the SFP or copy the SFP's info and essentially paste it onto another SFP. Thus the liberation of SFPs, <laughs> I can't get over that name, that's actually great. Um, allowing you to essentially copy an SFP profile from one OEM to a different OEM to ensure compatibility with your network. And I think it's a great tool and it does the job really well. I've used it on a couple of SFPs and it's worked fine. The one thing I'm actually a little bit more interested about this guy though is some of the other features that are on it. But before I go into that, let's actually talk about the tech specs. So you get a 1.9 inch screen right here, full touchscreen capabilities. You can dim it. There's a little Bluetooth icon here. You can also lock the orientation. There's a USB-C at the top for charging. And then down below, you see the SFP port and the QSFP port, which is also a really nice addition that you can do both SFP and QSFP on this module. So. Other than that, you get a little power button here on the side. If you click it once, um, it doesn't really do much right now. And if you hold it down, it'll kind of put it into a sleep mode. So it'll kind of turn the screen off right there. And then on this side, there's nothing. And it also has a little uh, hole up at the top left and the top right for kind of a lanyard connection. Or if you wanted to tie it on to like a little keychain or something like that. So there's a little bit of a mounting point as well, which is really, really cool. So. This form factor, how much does this cost? It's only $49, which is kind of insane for a tool like this. Um, I've used a lot of OTDRs in my life that are upwards of $20,000. So to see how compact and neat this thing is, I mean, this could easily be several hundred dollars, I mean, on the low end. So kind of really cool that it's coming in at such an aggressive price. One of the things, though, that... I like the, a little bit more than the actual copy and paste function is the DDM info you actually get out of the SFP transceiver itself. So you can actually turn on and off the laser to read incoming and outgoing power for your SFP. So if you scroll over here, it'll show you TX power, RX power, the incoming light, the outgoing light. And there's even some sort of a, it looks like a, uh, there was like a little bit of a distance or a reach reading, but it has NA and it shows you the wavelength on the front too. So I'd love to maybe see in the future if you could kind of make it a mini OTDR, if you will. Now again, I'm sure the technology inside of it for it being so compact and cheap may not be able to get that advanced, but it would be really, really cool if some sort of those OTDR-like features ever get integrated into it. And there's a little toggle here where you can toggle on and off the laser for the SFP, which is really nice as well. That way you're not blinding yourself constantly 24-7. I can't really see anymore, so it doesn't matter for me. So uh, I just kind of leave it on. But overall, it's a really neat piece of kit. Some of the things that I wish that it could do that maybe it will do is it also pairs perfectly with the unify app so when you turn this on this uses a bluetooth and it connects right to your phone you can run um, over the air updates for it and update it but i wish it would give you a little bit more i'd love to see like if i could insert a transceiver and it run a factory test to make sure it's got good voltage it's getting a reading there's some sort of link detection right maybe a little bit more on that side and actually piping it out to the app for say like a CSV or a test report would be really, really cool to have within the application. Um, another missed opportunity I think would have been really nice. You know, it kind of would have been hard in this form factor. So I, I could see why they maybe didn't do it, but maybe some sort of external VFL on it, right? To actually have a visual fault locator for a laser on it. So if you just want to plug a piece of fiber up to it real quick and shine a light and have someone on the other end see like where it's coming out in the patch panel would be really nice. Again, for a form factor as compact as this, there's only so much you can do. So 
Uh, maybe a maybe a V2 or another accessory ubiquity might be able to make. Uh, hint, hint. That would be that'd be cool. Hopefully they listen to that. Um, but yeah, I mean, if they continue on the path with these kinds of accessories, I mean, we could see them creating some really cool equipment in the future. And again, the price points that they come in for this kind of equipment, I mean. I'm using this whether I got a Unify network or not, right? Like, this is just genuinely a cool accessory to have in your kit. Uh, because, again, I have a Cat5, Cat6 tester, and it just kind of does all the neat stuff. But having something where I can not only copy-paste profiles, but I can actually read DDM info off of is is really neat to have on my person just at the click of a button, right? And, again, USB-C charged. Um, I've had it charged for a couple days. It lasts a pretty decent you know, while again, I wouldn't leave it on for multiple hours at a time. You'll drain the battery pretty easily. But again, I mean, for $49, I, I can't think of another easy thing to add to my to-go bag that, you know, saves me time and headache, right? So um, kudos to Ubiquity for this one. I actually like it a lot. Um, some some things I would change about it, right? Like I don't, you know, it's not, it's not going to be the all-in-one killer, right? But again, I don't think that's what it's trying to be at this price point. So again, I'd love to see the future improvements on it, right? Like what else could be brought to the table? I think this is a really, really good pace they're setting, right? With some of these accessory releases. Um, I can't wait to see what else is coming down the line at this rate. And again, 49 bucks, it's, it's kind of hard to beat. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys have picked one up or if you're using it. I know they're sold out. They're they're at least right now they're running like hotcakes, so they they must be uh, pretty good to an extent. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have used these down in the comment. Let me know if you guys have any issues or things you like, things you don't like, things maybe you change on them. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one.